Let's draw a pumpkin, then make it spooky. Hello friends! In this tutorial, I'm going to show you a few simple tricks for drawing a spooky pumpkin in Procreate, and if you watch till the end of the video, I've got a couple treats for you as well. Let's get started. First, create a canvas that's 3000 pixels square at 300 dpi. You can make your canvas smaller if you'd like, but I've found that this size provides more flexibility in case you want to print the artwork at a later date. The next thing we're going to do is turn on our drawing guides, then tap Edit Drawing Guide and change it to Symmetry. Since we just turned on the Symmetry Guide, the layer we're working on already shows that Drawing Assist is turned on. Choose an orange color that you like and choose the monoline brush. By the way, I'm only going to be using brushes which come free with Procreate and I'm going to leave notes in the description for where you can find each one in the brush library. First draw a straight line for the base of the pumpkin. Then draw a wide oval and attach it to the straight line. If you need to, you can go in with the eraser tool and clean up the area where the lines meet. Now if you're more comfortable starting with a pencil sketch, feel free to do this part in pencil first. Then you can trace it with the monoline brush once you've settled on a shape that you like. Now fill your shape and reduce the opacity. Add a new layer and turn on Drawing Assist. Again, start with a straight line at the bottom, but make it a little shorter this time. Then follow the curve of the first oval, but make it smaller. Fill the shape. Then starting from the center line, extend the top of that shape so you make two little hills. Fill those in as well. Now you can reduce the opacity on this layer. We're going to repeat this process one more time. Create a new layer, turn on Drawing Assist, draw the straight line which will be even shorter this time, follow the curve of the second shape but make it smaller. Fill the shape. Then make your two hills at the top and fill those as well. So these are the three sections for the pumpkin. Now let's draw the stem. Create a new layer, and you do not need drawing assist this time. Switch your color to green. Draw two wavy lines next to each other, then join them at the top and bottom. Then fill the shape. Keep in mind that there's no right or wrong way to draw the stem. It can be whatever shape you like. Now drag the stem layer to the bottom of your layer panel so it's below all of the active layers. Now let's go back and turn up the opacity on all the pumpkin layers. Select the bottom pumpkin layer and tap the plus sign to create a new layer right above it. Make the new layer a clipping mask. Then turn on Drawing Assist on the clipping mask layer. Select the orange you used before then tap on the color disk. Now drag that color to find a darker version of that orange. Now choose a brush with a slightly grainy texture. I'm going to use the noise brush. Now go in and add a bit of shading on the clipping mask layer. The middle layer starts somewhere around here, so I'll start adding the shading in this area. Make sure you're adding the shading right along the edge of where that middle layer is being revealed. If you've added a little too much shading, you can always erase. It's best to erase with the same texture brush, and here's a quick way to do that. With the noise brush selected, tap and hold the eraser tool, and it will automatically switch your eraser to the noise brush as well. Now select the middle pumpkin layer and repeat this process. Add a new layer above, make it a clipping mask. Turn on Drawing Assist on the clipping mask layer. Then go ahead and add your shading. For the top pumpkin layer, create a new layer above and make it a clipping mask. You don't need Drawing Assist for this layer. This time, you're going to add a little bit of shading just to the center part of this top section. Keep it nice and subtle and focus mainly on the lower half so the shading fades out towards the top. Now with all the shading done, let's add a little texture. Choose the dry brush. and I'm going to use a cream color for this. Tap on the shading layer for the bottom section of the pumpkin. Create a new layer above that. And make the new layer a clipping mask. 
Add a little texture to each side of that bottom layer. We're not using Drawing Assist this time because you want each side to feel a little different so it looks more realistic. Keep in mind that you don't want the texture to feel too heavy-handed, so keep it subtle. You can always use the smudge tool in the same texture brush to blend some areas to tone them down if you need to. Move up to the middle shading layer and repeat the process. Create a new layer above, make it a clipping mask, then add your texture. Finally, do the same on the top layer. This time, add the texture mainly to the top of this section. Lastly, we can add some highlight and detail to the stem. Tap on the stem layer, then create a new layer above. Make the new layer a clipping mask. I'm going to use the dry ink brush for this. Choose a lighter or brighter green and outline the left side of the stem. If you'd like, you can also choose a darker green and add a few line details on the right side and towards the bottom of the stem. Select all your layers and create a group. Now let's make this pumpkin spooky. Swipe left on your layer group and then duplicate it. Then flatten the duplicate. It's best to keep the original layer group intact because if something goes wrong, you don't want to have to start all over. Go ahead and uncheck the layer group to hide it. Tap on the flat layer and then add a new layer right above it. Turn on Drawing Assist on the new layer. Using the monoline brush, draw ovals for the eyes, a triangle for the nose, and then a large arc for the top of the mouth then finish the mouth by attaching a second arc below. Turn off Drawing Assist, then add a couple wonky rectangles for the teeth. And you can just erase those sections of the arc. Now the reason why we're doing this on a separate layer is because it might take a couple tries to get the face to look exactly how you want it. So don't be afraid to mess up on this step. You can always erase and try again. Once you're happy with how the face looks, Fill all the shapes, then reduce the opacity. We're going to use this as a template. Now, go to the flatten pumpkin layer below, select the eraser tool in the monoline brush, and erase each shape on the face using the layer above as a guide. When you're done erasing, turn off the face template layer. As you can see, we've now carved a face into our pumpkin. Now you can just drag that face template layer to the bottom to get it out of the way. Swipe left on the flattened pumpkin layer and tap duplicate. On the duplicated layer, turn on alpha lock. Select a dark orange. You can use the same one you used for shading the pumpkin earlier. Tap on the layer and then tap fill layer. You want to make sure that this dark orange version is below the original pumpkin layer. With that dark orange version selected, tap on the selection tool and make sure uniform is highlighted. Drag the layer to the right and down a little. Keep in mind that the further you drag it, the thicker the walls of the pumpkin will appear. Erase everything that has fallen outside of the original pumpkin shape. Now turn off alpha lock. Now you see where the teeth are duplicated? Go ahead and join those areas with a diagonal line and then fill that shape. Now we can add a little shading to help create more dimension. Add a new layer above the dark orange layer. Make the new layer a clipping mask. Choose the noise brush and pick a brown that's darker than the color you used here. Add a little shading to the eyes, nose, and mouth. On the eyes and nose, keep the shading towards the inside so you get the effect of the color gradually getting darker. Then you can add shading to the corners of the mouth and the sides of the teeth. Now go to the top pumpkin layer and add a new layer above it. Make the new layer a clipping mask. 
Choose a color that's a little lighter and brighter than the orange you used on this part of the pumpkin. Now outline the left side of each eye, the nose and mouth to create a little highlight. I'm using the dry ink brush for this. All right, now let's change the background color to black. To create the light inside the jack-o-lantern, add a new layer below all the active layers. Choose the soft brush and a light yellow. Draw in a circular motion until that area is filled with color. If the color bleeds beyond the pumpkin, just use the eraser tool to clean it up. Now choose a darker yellow and add a little depth to the lower right side. Lastly, change the color to white and add a little highlight along the upper left side. This part is optional, but I'm going to add a few plants and leaves to frame the pumpkin. If you choose to add this part, make sure it's on a layer below all of the active layers. I'm using long wavy shapes to make the leaves look a little creepy and I don't want these to distract from the jack-o-lantern, so I'm using a really dark gray. It's just light enough to stand out from the black background. And I'm using the dry ink brush for this because I don't want the lines to be too clean and precise. Using the eraser tool, you can add lines in the center of each leaf to give it a little detail. I'm also going to add a little distorted shadow below the pumpkin, which is basically just a wavy shape. Now let's add purple highlights to these shapes to make it look like there's a glow from a spooky purple moon. Create a new layer above that leaf layer and make it a clipping mask. I'm using the dry ink brush and I'm just adding a little color to the edges of most of the leaves. Now for the ghosts. By the way, I'm going to do another tutorial to show you how to recreate the ghost I drew in my last video, but in this tutorial, we're going to draw a much simpler version. Add a new layer at the top of all of your active layers, and we'll draw the first ghost coming out of the pumpkin's eye. I'm using the dry ink brush and the color is white. Draw a very simple blob. It's kind of like a stretched teardrop shape, and then fill it with color. Erase the bottom section so it looks like the ghost is coming out of the pumpkin. Use the monoline brush eraser so you get a nice clean line. Reduce the opacity to about 60% on this layer. For the face, choose the eraser tool in the dry ink brush and erase two ovals for the eyes, or you can make them circles if you prefer. Then erase a larger oval for the mouth. On a layer above, you can use the noise brush in white to add a few soft highlights. The other two ghosts will be behind the pumpkin and leaves, so create a new layer below all of your active layers. Then follow the same process to create the other two ghosts. Draw your blob shapes, fill with color, then reduce the opacity to 60%. Use the eraser tool to draw the eyes and mouth, and create a new layer above to add a few soft highlights with the noise brush. To finish things off, you can add a few dots and stars to make the background look like the night sky. And that's it! Here's a close-up of how it turned out. And here's your treat for watching the entire tutorial. If you'd like to use this artwork as the wallpaper or lock screen on your phone, you can go to giagram.com pumpkin to grab a free download. Also, if you want to try this tutorial with the exact same colors that I used, I've also included a color palette download for you as well. If you decide to try this tutorial and share it on Instagram, be sure to tag me so I can see your art and repost it. I hope you've enjoyed this video. If you did, I'd love it if you'd give it a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel. Thanks for watching.